so in this video we're going to show you how to use chat GPT to take an Excel sheet data and build a dashboard in Python in the fastest way possible this video will also boost your learning process of building dashboard apps now to do this we're going to show you how to optimize chat GPT to avoid this uh, token limitations that it has and to spit out the most complete dashboard that you asked of it with little to no debugging needed on your end. So we're going to use these two data sets, the diabetes and 2014 world GDP, and we will create two separate apps with them. In this first app, using the diabetes data set, will be less sophisticated. We'll just have a scatter plot and maybe a drop down that, that changes the data in the scatter plot. So when you have less sophisticated data uh, or, or, or app, uh, you can ask ChatGPT to do everything in one, um, in one section, in one um, part of uh, one whole in set of instructions, right? So about four sentences here. It's not going to be too much to overwhelm ChatGPT, and the app is not too is not too big, so it should not hit its token limitations. And all we're saying is create an interactive dashboard using Plotly Dash. Use this data set that can be found under the video. We'll we'll give you a link, but also right here you click on View Raw, and this is the data set allowing ChatGPT to read it, and then create a scatter plot using Plotly Express, show the relationship between blood pressure and BMI, with age being the color, and then use the, uh, a drop-down or a dash component to um, filter the out outcome column um, and the data on the scatter plot. So let's see, it, it's done. Also gave some instructions here to teach you what it's doing. We'll copy this code inside our PyCharm and or VS Code, whichever Python IDE you have. Um, if you don't have Dash yet, just go to Terminal and do pip install Dash, and then you can do pip install pandas, and you should be ready. Once everything is installed, you can run the app and see if ChatGPT actually gave us what we were asking for. So we have a drop down, a scatter plot, a nice title. We'll change it from dead to alive, and we see that the scatter plot updates according to the drop down. Wonderful. And this all took probably less than 20 seconds. Now, if you want to build a more sophisticated app that maybe has two graphs and uh, more sophisticated interactivity, uh, you might have more instructions. And if you have more instructions, it's best to divide the instructions into separate sections so um, it doesn't, ChatGPT doesn't reach the token limitations and just stop writing in the middle, right? So we'll use, uh, we'll build an app based on this data, the GDP in billions in country. And we'll tell, we'll open a new, a new chat. And we'll tell uh, ChatGPT to start with, with the basics. We'll say this. Just build the layout of the dashboard. No need for callbacks or any interactivity yet. Use this raw uh, CSV sheet located in this uh, link right here. And simply create a corpus map, right? Um, that shows the, the country, uh, uses the country column to display the countries and the GDP per billions, right? Copy the code, paste it right here, and see if it did that correctly. Perfect. So we have a corpus map with the countries and their GDP values. Great. Now that we have our corpus map, we can say, let's add a bar chart. In this case, we want to add a simple bar chart. So we'll give it the instructions here. Perfect. Just add a bar chart to the layout. The bar chart will have countries on the x-axis and GDP value on the y-axis, right? Do not add callbacks. We can tell it to sometimes chat GPT, in my experience, wants to create a more interactive and powerful dashboard, but we don't want that yet, right? Just a bar chart. So hopefully that is built um, correctly. Let's see, copy the code, save. Now with debug true, you just have to save and it automatically updates the app. 
And now we have, oh, they're next to each other. We have everything in one row. So we'll say, um, please put the two graphs in separate rows. All right, because ChatGPT actually took uh, a more enhanced version of an app and started dividing rows here with styling. And I mean, cool, if you want to learn how to put everything in rows and in columns. But in this case, we don't we don't want that. We just want the corporate on top on, and the bar chart on the bottom. And it probably should have been more explicit and told ChatGPT corporate on top and bar chart on the bottom. But let's see if it understood. Save. Perfect. Corporate on top and bar chart on the bottom. Now we see the bar chart because the GDPs of China and the US are so large, you can barely see the the markers of the other countries. So we're going to try and tell ChatGPT to update that y axis. We'll say nice job. Limit the range of the y axis uh, of the bar chart from 0 to 2000. Right? Because if we put this limited to 2000, we'll be able to see more of the more of the countries. Let's see if it complied, it looks like it complied. Let's copy the code, give it a second to be done. Save. All right, so corporate, perfect. So now we see more of the countries, US and China are outside of the, of the axis, but that's fine, we see all the countries. Now, one last set of instructions. I want ChatGPT to create to use the callback to create this type of interactivity where if somebody clicks on a country, that country is highlighted in the bar chart. So I'm going to I wrote these instructions. Hopefully ChatGPT will understand what I'm trying to say. It understood last time, so let's see. All right. So we're telling it create a callback which will capture the click data of the corpus map. Anytime somebody clicks on, on a figure, in this case it's the corpus map, um, you're generating click data. This is click data and this is click data. So we're saying take the, take the click data of the corpus map and then the country chosen will highlight the marker of the bar chart, one of these bars, will highlight them in red and the rest of the countries in blue. All right, let's see if it actually did that. Oops, didn't wait for it to end. Let's do end, 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 copy code. Now it finished. Restart. And let's see what we get. Okay, so we have the bar chart, we have the corporate, we click on US, and there we go. We see it in red. Click on China, see it in red. Let's click on Argentina, also. Fancy. Beautiful. So there you have it. In a few minutes, we were able to tell ChatGPT to build a simple and then a more sophisticated Dash app all in Python using Excel sheet data uh, just by giving it instructions. But the, 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 the more detailed the instructions are usually the better because it will be easier for ChatGPT to create the dashboard that you want. Good luck with your learning process. I hope to see you in the future. And until next time.